When I play mahjong at mahjong time, I like to play at eight point tables. That means three fawn is the minimum. So I do random pulls to practice identifying the best way to get to that three fawn. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have a wind of the round indicator here. We're going to do four rounds, one for each wind of the round. East round. Let's say for the sake of the exercise, we're going to be in seat six, which would be south. So I'm going to put a two on the dice. East round seat two. So with these tiles, we do have three pair. I would hold the nine dots, get rid of these first. Here we have a lot of bams, so we could use the chow here, five, six, seven, pung here and here. Or use these as a chow potential chow potential chow so that's one two three blocks either way we have three blocks because any pair is a potential pung so a one suit hand would be six fawn if we use these wind and dragon here we'd have to pair them up to pung them we could maybe play a half flush which is three fawn so I would hold those to see if we paired up. If we get one more pair, all pung would be a good choice because we would be able to pung, pung, pung. All pung is three fawn, and that would meet the minimum. So for sure, we don't need these. I would start by discarding these. See if we can draw in more bams. If we draw in bams, we can sacrifice the pair. If we pair up instead, we can play all pung. South round. This time, let's say we're seat three. That would be west. We are in west seat and we have a pair of west. If we pung that, that would be worth a fawn. We have mostly bams by one tile. So in order to get to three fawn, we could do pung of seat, wind, no flowers, that's two. So we would have to get one more fawn somewhere, probably half flush, bams, with honors. Discard these. That's how I would get this to a ha uh, three fawn. We could potentially chow here and here. So we need lots more bams to make this work. West round. East seat. Since we'll be the dealer, we get 14 tiles to start. Am I dreaming? Look at all these honors. We're not going to have any trouble getting to three fawn here. We have a pair, potential chow, pair, pair, pair. We could pung, 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 all pung, half flush. That would be six, six fawn. We're in east seat. If we pung the east, that would be another fawn. If we pung the green dragon, that would be another fawn. So this would be an eight fawn 
hand. I would discard these for sure. Try to pung the honors. We really don't even need these because this could be our pair. Half flesh, all pung, seat wind, pung of dragons. That is a dream onset right there. And it's west round. West round. If we pung that, we'd get another fawn there. This could be very close to a limit hand because 10 fawn is the highest score you can get. This would be all pung for three, half flesh for another three. That's six, seven, eight, nine. If we pung those three, that would be exciting. North pull. This time, let's say we're going to be in the east seat since I rolled a nine. We're in seat one, it's north round. We have a two and a three flower, so we won't get score for these. So what I would try for here probably, we have two pair in there. I think I would probably hold the dots and the BAMs and just try to pair up for all pungs since we have two pair. Either try to pair up for all pung or keep dots, dots and honors for a half flush. I would definitely start by discarding these. Hold these to see what happens. Pairing up would be an easier route because we have a lot of discards for a half flush. So I think I would just watch the discards, discard for tiles that are being thrown, hold fresh tiles in hopes of pairing up for all pung. I think that's what I would probably try here. That third random pull, west round, all those honors, very nice. Don't forget to download the player reference so you can learn the scoring elements and if you want to try playing at Mahjong time, look for my email below the video. I'll send you a 30-day VIP code so you can try it out. You've got to learn the scoring first because in a lot of those tables, you got to have three fawn to win. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.